Hey everyone, it's Cupcake here. Today we are continuing our LOL to MLP series. Last time we did LOL Princess Celestia, and today we're doing me, Princess Luna. So who's going to be me today? Me! I'm going to be LOL Princess Luna. Oh, well, you better do a good job then. Oh, it will be a good job. Just you wait and see. All right, so first up, up I'm going to give her a new hairdo, give her some hair extensions with some epoxy sculpt. So here we go. For my younger audience, be sure to get the help of a grown-up if you are crafting because we're dealing with some toxic chemicals and some dangerous hot and sharp stuff. So I don't want you guys hurting yourselves. I'm going to be using parts A and parts B of epoxy sculpt. And it's kind of tricky working with the epoxy sculpt because you do have to wear gloves gloves but I usually don't because gloves make my sculpting really wrinkly so do as I say and not as I do if you're dealing with epoxy sculpt definitely please do wear some gloves what I like to do is wear the gloves for the mixing part so I'm gonna be using a little bit of this part I don't know why my epoxy is starting to turn yellow maybe it's because it's getting really old but I'm not super professional epoxy user so if you guys know why it's turning yellow let me know in the comment section so i'm gonna do a little bit at a time this is of the part b and here is part a we're gonna do equal parts just the same amount as the part b yeah i think that should be good so i smush those two together and just mix them up and of course after i start mixing it up i take off the gloves and it makes it easier for me to smooth down my sculpting now the other tricky part with making her some new hair is that i have to avoid making any type of designs that will keep me from basically putting her head back on if I mold onto her head without it attached to her body, which is usually the ideal way to do it because when you have her head on the body, there's her arms and everything getting in the way of you making her hair. So I have to try to make her a hairstyle that will work with putting her head back onto her body. Yep, it's tricky, tricky. So here I am with my epoxy sculpt mixed together and now I'm gonna add the epoxy sculpt and just start shaping with some water.
All right, while I'm waiting for the epoxy sculpt to dry, it's just like air dry clay. You don't need to bake it. It dries all by itself. Only problem is epoxy sculpt makes our doll heavy. So it starts toppling over if the hair is heavy or if anything else is heavy on her with too much epoxy sculpt. So I'm gonna do her crown with my regular air dry clay. Using a little bit of water, I'm gonna shape it on her head. Now that she's got her crown on, we can glue her horn on. I made these wings off camera and now I'm gonna finish it up by doing the other side because I was working with a flat surface and so we're gonna have to make the other side as pretty as this side. All right, now it's time to start painting her. And I'm gonna be doing that with some of this award blue paint and a little bit of this purple iris paint. While painting her, you know what I noticed? I didn't do her ears. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, make her some ears right now.
Now it's time to add some gems to her crown and I'm going to add some to her face. I'm going to give some more color to her cheeks with some chalk pastel. everything off with some matte varnish. To get her wings on her back, I'm going to use these Velcro circles. One side is fuzzy and the other side is spiky. And she's finally finished. We've got our LOL Princess Luna. Just be careful I don't turn into Nightmare Moon. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I won't turn into Nightmare Moon. Oh, will I? Oh, wow. Sister, sister. Hello. You look amazing. Why, thank you, Celestia. And that is the end of our show. We will continue our LOL to MLP series with our next MLP edition very soon. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye for now.